guys, good morning and welcome back to the vlog. So today is July 4th. Today is Sky's Ed K pop artist class. So he's going to be teaching the choreography to this single. Mm, hirap sabihin nun. Um, I've been logged in already for about 20 minutes, I think. Um, and there are a lot of people in class. We're just waiting for Kai to start. So there's a lot of people in class already. The fans were asking for us to wear something yellow, but this is as yellow as it can get. Thank you, Heft, for the shirt. Okay, so I was so nervous when Baekhyun gave the class. But like right now, my <laughs> my nervousness is over the top because I mean, Besh, we're talking about Kai here, as in Kai, EXO main dancer Kai, and the sole reason why I started standing EXO. I'm really excited to see him. So, I'm just gonna do some warm-up para mabawasan yung sakit ng katawan ko after because best, two days masakit yung katawan ko after no class in Bic yun. Okay, so I just got update from XOL groups that Kai has arrived. He's here! Who is <laughs> Do you guys all see me? Who is <laughs> Can you guys all see me? <laughs> You guys can all see me. Can you guys all give me a wave? Oh, Wow, you guys are all waving so well. Hi, I'm Hi. Kai. <laughs> Just as I mentioned before, the chorus parts for the first chorus part, second chorus first part is the same. Left shoulders gonna be down. Not like this. Ah, 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 okay. Like this. You guys are doing great. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, bang, ta, 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 boom, boom, ta, bang, bang, ta, 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 boom, ta. Okay, you're doing great up to here. And uh, use the feel that you have from your heart. Okay. Mahal ko si Kai. Pero pagod na this is something that I have to watch over and over. There's a lot of basic techniques. A lot of angles. And also tension, power control. And it's also important to kind of where to balance out all your moves. So you do this dance a lot, so if you really just kind of practice um, this choreo, it'll really definitely help you out just in general with your moves, your dance. So if you kind of notice, uh, nowadays there's a lot of choreos where it starts from powerful and ends with powerful. But if you keep practice, but if you practice only that, then every Every type of choreo that you dance to is going to be just all powerful. Easy, right? Easy. Easy. So, now I'm going to show you the first one. Okay. Finished about an hour ago, I think, ma 2 to 15. 
some, it's already 3 o'clock. So, nag-full nag lang yung memory card ko. So, I had to... Hi! <laughs> I had to transfer some files. Anyway, um, a few thoughts lang. Ang hirap. <laughs> ang hirap ng, ng choreography niya. Which is, I think, naman is expected. Um, because, I mean, he's Kai. Diba? So, he's Exos main dancer. A lot of people, a lot of experts in the industry has said na I think he's one of the best dancers that came into K-pop. I think I ex already expected that it was going to be hard kasi I also kept watching the music video over and over again before the class. Parang ano siya, like if you do it ng sobrang fast, it looks easy. Kasi parang puro mga isolation of body parts. But since Kai is a professional dancer and he's been trained professionally since he was a kid, um, he talked a lot about lines, forms, angles, working your angles. Kasi nga, pro talaga siya eh. I mean, he, he didn't learn dancing nung naging trainee siya. He knew about dancing already even before he became a trainee. So, iba yung form niya. And I remember him saying that if if he wasn't a, if he wasn't a, an idol now, he would probably a dancer, or a male ballet dancer. So, yung forms, yung forms, yung lines, yung extensions ni Kai are extremely beautiful. Like, ang ganda ng mga linya ng katawan niya. Because I think that's one of the things na talagang na perfect niya even before he was a trainee. And then, um, between Kai and Baekhyun, very different yung, very different yung experience. Because si Baekhyun, since he's also a singer, and um, I'm not sure if you've um, watched one of the uh, Knowing Brothers episode wherein Baekhyun... Um, parang openly and honestly said na he wasn't the best dancer, ganyan. So, yun talaga learning curve niya when it comes to dance. Feeling ko kung paano tinrain at tinuruan si Beck yun in the past, ganun din nagturo si Beck yun doon nung class niya. Because yung talagang paisa-isa yung step, tas paulit-ulit hanggang sa ma-perfect. Versus Kai, whom I think has already been a perfect dancer even before he became an idol. Kasi there was a part in the class where he said na during his time though when he was 14 or 15 um, instructors, would, instructors would only show him the dance once or twice tapos puro siya na yung maglo-learn nun. So medyo ganun din yung ginawa niya during the class and um, a lot of people na nag, parang nagwawalan sa chat box na slow down, slow down, please repeat ganyan ganyan na ako talaga, medyo nahirapan din ako sumunod but you can't take it against Sky because we also have to understand na yun kasi yung form of teaching na na alam niya. So, ano siya, different experience yung kay Bic yun, different experience din yung kay Kai. But both are um, equally fulfilling, especially if you're a fan. Sobrang cute ni Jongin kanina kasi ano siya, like simple, hindi siya fully, hindi siya fully made up. Tapos parang nung una flowy-flowy pa yung suit niya dun sa first part until nag-suit siya dun sa the last part but yeah um there's also a different experience if you are a k-pop stan i think there has to be at least one dance lesson with kai this is a class that you need to take i believe um he's planning to teach another one hindi ako sure kung gaano ka totoo yun so if that happens huwag yung palagpasin especially if you are an exo fan um, being in Kai's class is something that you really need to do and you really need to put on your K-pop fangirl bucket list. Medyo hahabulin nyo lang yung pacing niya kasi ang galing niya talaga. Sobrang hirap talaga, no joke. Kaya wala akong matinong, wala akong matinong video na sinama dito sa vlog na to because ang hirap talaga, guys. Ako, usually, it would take me about 3 to 5 days to, you know, yung talagang suwabe ko na siyang nasasayaw. Unlike yung kay Bic yun, kasi parang took me about 2 to 3 days lang, kaya ko na rin siya ituro sa ibang tao. But this one, I'm gonna have to work harder. Hindi siya namimilit mag mag magsayaw, actually. If you, parang if hindi ka makasabay, pero nakikita niya na tinatry mo, okay lang sa kanya. Uh, meron lang siyang kinol out kasi earlier na literally was just lying on, lying on the bed and wasn't dancing at all. So parang bigla niyang kinol out. So wag din naman tayong tamad-tamad. I mean, it wouldn't be nice for a dance instructors na, for dance instru instructors in general, la, not just, you know, yung mga artist class na they're teaching the dance, nakikita nila yung audience nila nakahiga lang, diba? Parang, I think that's a little rude naman for them. 
I mean, they always say naman, both Baekhyun and Kai did say na parang, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you just have to parang feel the music, groove with the music. Also, si Kai parted with like very good words when it comes to dance. He did say that um, his song, mm, yung choreography niya are mostly composed of basic um, hip-hop or basic dance steps that are taught to students over and over hanggang sa maging natural yung movement sa kanila. So, mostly daw yung mga moves sa, sa mm, like yung, ano, yung ball change, yung lines, yung waves, those are basics that are usually taught in classes. So, um, sinasabi niya na if you try and rehearse this song over and over again, um, this is something that would not only teach you the choreography of the song, it would also teach you some of the basic moves and um, stance and um, fundamentals, yung basic fundamentals of dance. So in general, sabi ni Kai, this is a choreography that will somehow improve yung movements, yung movements mo as a whole, or yung movements mo better. Something like that. Basta ganun. It was a fun class. It was a fun class. Mahirap, but it was fun. It's one for the books. I mean, guys, tinuruan ako magsayaw ni Kai. Anyway, mapupuno na naman yung memory card ko. That's it for this vlog. Thank you very much for staying and for um, watching my experience in Kai's class. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye! Spread the word, spread the love. Bye. Peace. Bye. Bye. <laughs>